Hey friends, in this video, I'll demonstrate on the Covio access and will provide a UI walkthrough. We will see how to get Covio access and different license types available. Covio is a paid license software, but we can get 14 day free trial to explore the features. I have the 14 day trial starting today. We will take a look at the UI now. To access the Covio, you have to go to the URL platform.cloud.covio.com. Once you land on the Covio search homepage, you will have different options to log into the Covio. You can log in via Google, Microsoft, and Salesforce. You have also options to log in via the SSO or log in with an email. Now, to get a free trial, you have to click on the start a free trial option and provide the basic details. Since I have the trial account ready, I'll directly log into the Covio. Once I log into the Covio, you can see I have landed on the homepage where it says like you have 14 days remaining for your enterprise plan free trial. And on the homepage, you can see the organization which is tagged to you. For me, the US region is tagged and there are different uh, regions We have a notification section which talks about any new updates, any user specific or account specific updates here. On the profile section, we can see all the profile related information. Now on the left rail, you can see the organization section and under settings, you have all the details about the organization which you are tagged to and analytics and licensing options available. Here you can see the details of like how many times the queries are executed, what are the analytics status, etc. Under groups, you can see the different groups available within Covio by default. As you see, administrators, analytics managers, analytics viewer, content manager, relevance manager, and normal users are available by default. So you can add users under these groups. You can also add different new groups based on your requirement. Under member section, you can see like who are all the current users having the Covio account access. Next main section is the API keys. The API key enables us to configure different uh, Covio specific permissions. So to work with the APIs, we need to add a key first and provide basic details. And uh, next important section is the privileges. So here we are defining like what level of access a user needs based on while interacting with this API. So for example, we have the content section wherein a uh, crawling module, like what access uh, we need to provide, whether it's just a view uh, option or uh, the API should be able to edit this. The X tab talks about different groups and what permission they have on this API. For example, content manager, he can just see the API configuration here, but administrator has the option to edit the API. Analytics section helps to see and work on various user behavior with respect to search. We can even export different uh, search related dimensions from this section. There is something called machine learning and we can create different models. So these models are used to define set of things like uh, automatic relevance tuning. We can do the query suggestions, fine tuning and content recommendation, dynamic navigation experience product recommendations, smart snippets, etc. We have a section called search. This is the area where we can configure conditions for search, create pipelines, configure any search experience, etc. Commerce section helps to organize the index commerce data by configuring catalogs. The main section is the content section. We have sources, 
this is the area where we configure different sources from which uh, we are going to index the data. There is something called log browser. So each activity related to indexing will be listed down here. There is something called fields. So by default, Covio provides a set of uh, fields based on which the indexing will be happening around. Content browser provides a search experience for the Covio administrator. Here we can, we can execute the queries and get the responses. And we have different facets filtering options available here. So in this walkthrough, I have tried to cover the basic necessary things of Covio search user interface. In upcoming videos, I'll be talking more about how do we work with the different features within the Covio. Thank you for watching the Knowledge Share series.